Hello and welcome to another UK EDC video review. I've been dying to get my hands on one of these and the guys from MRF Multitools based in Ukraine have sent me one to review for you guys. So what this is basically is their Adventure 3.0 Outdoor Survival Bushcraft Multitool. Call it what you will. I guarantee you're going to be buying one of these by the end of the review. Now not only does it come with this card, which is obviously nice and thick and nice and sturdy. This one's made of stainless steel, but you can get them in titanium as well in different kind of colours. Um, this you can also be bought in conjunction with a handle. Now we'll look at some configurations and why we use this handle in a minute. Basically it sticks on here and you can turn the tool into a, a more useful tool essentially. And you can also get um, some bands with it as well to actually fire an arrow. Well, so I'd love to do this outdoors but we're in lockdown in the UK at the moment. I can't get out of and do these kind of reviews for you. So I thought to be fair to the MRF guys because they sent me this a little while ago, I'll do this one as a tabletop review and then when we're allowed out to play again I'll do an outdoor review as well. So when you get these you also buy them separately so you buy that separately as an add-on and you buy that separately as well. Just in case you just want that which is a good idea saves you selling buying too many things that you may not require. You get this little card with it that tells you how to configure the handle and we'll look at a few configurations in a minute. Um, also it comes in like a little a little sleeve like this and it tells you what it actually does. So just going through it you could use it as an axe, a scraper, a shovel, a knife, can opener, box opener, cord cutter, a bottle opener, O2 wrench, oxygen wrench, set of wrenches, broadhead wrench, arrow, spear, tomahawk, screwdriver, hex bit driver, a determining distance ruler, a sundial clock, a sundial compass, a protractor, a metric ruler, an inch ruler, a gas valve and a wire bending hole in there as well. And I'm sure you'll probably think of a couple of others when you start playing with this. So let's have a look at it in its unique form first of all. So this arrowhead actually pops out like that. And what we have here is, I'll just pop that to one side, a nice little arrowhead, a couple of lashing points there, a lashing point there. And on the bottom here is a screwdriver. Now, I just told you about the handle. Obviously, that's got to stick in there somehow. And it comes supplied with a couple of screws. And this actually fits those screw heads perfectly. So this is obviously a knife, a cutting tool. Probably use it for a fire steel as well. So there's a piece of cardboard here. Obviously, very sharp on both ends. So I'm going to be very careful I handle this. And it goes through that box. And a bit of sellotape quite nicely. So you've got a nice little cutting tool there straight away. And it does actually squeeze back in there. It's a bit tricky to do, so I'm not going to do it now because obviously it's sharp. I don't want to cut my fingers off. Um, all these little holes also have a useful purpose. There's like a length uh, distance measuring tool there. And you've also got cutting areas on the outside here. Now where this tool really comes into its own is when you use it in conjunction with the handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a few configurations just to show you how this looks when it's configured with the handle. Okay, so you stay tuned. I'll be back in a few seconds with another configuration. Okay, so the first configuration for the Adventure 3.0 is the knife assembly. So rather than having to hold it, which may be a little bit awkward or a bit tricky, you've actually got a handle now where you can actually hold this and use these two edges as a cutting edge. And again, we go back to the trusty cardboard box. And we've got a nice grip on there, my word, you see how far that went in there? So you've got a nice sharp knife and you've got a nice way of cutting. So that's one configuration, that's the um, knife configuration. Also, because this side is sharp as well, you could use that for a digging tool or a bashing tool. Or maybe like if you're holding something up as a stick and you want a sharp and you can do it like that or like that. So that's the first configuration, the knife assembly. And your next configuration is the kukri configuration. So you can see we've slightly got this on the angle now. So when we pick this up and use it in conjunction with the handle, again, we've got a, a nice cutting edge again, but at a bit more of an angle. So we can get a little bit more leverage, a little bit more purchase on there. And as you can see, it's cutting through that absolutely easy easily. Um, can't help thinking that would be really useful if you were gutting fish or something. So that's the second configuration, the kukri configuration. Next up, we have the hatchet assembly. So you can see just by moving these two screws, by using this screwdriver on the end of that arrowhead here, you can reconfigure this to make a hatchet. So you can actually use this for chopping wood. The handle is pretty damn comfortable. It's not too bad. It's better than holding onto the actual tool itself. It gives you a bit of purchase. Um, so that's your hatchet assembly, your next one. Next up, we have the wrench assembly. So as you can see, we've got all these little cutouts here, all these little cutouts here. We've actually got the sizings on there as well. So we can, there's a broad head wrench there, a couple of other little holes that you can use for wrenches. So this is so you can get a nice purchase on there and get some additional leverage when you're doing up or undoing some wrenches. So that's the wrench assembly. 
And finally, in the different combinations, we've got the slingshot and sling bow assembly. So you can get this little kind of like catapult bands and pouch uh, from MRF as well. And you basically tie a couple of knots on the end and you've got a slingshot assembly. Now, obviously I'm not gonna do this indoors because I'm gonna end up damaging myself or my Mac or something. Um, you may obviously be thinking like I was, you can actually turn that into an arrow. You can put the shaft of your arrow in there, use it as a sling bow as well. So thank you very much to the guys at MRF Motor Tools for sending me this. I'm going to do an outdoor review of this as soon as I possibly can, as soon as we're allowed out to play again. And support these guys. Go online, have a look at their website. I'll put their address up at the end of this video and in the description so you can have a look as well. Um, you'll go on their website and I guarantee you'll buy something. These guys have come up with some classic designs. Use my code UKEDC and you get 10% off any order anywhere in the, across their site. So a great little tool. I mean, even the way they think of these things about putting a little screwdriver on the end there so you can actually undo and do up these little things and the compact way you can carry, which I talked about earlier. So get yourself to the website, get yourself one of these or some other bits and pieces the guys are, I've got. Keep your eye on their website because they're always coming up with new ideas and new designs. You guys take care of you are in the world. Peace out, much love. See you soon for another Radio Review for you. Thank you.